When Eric and Nancy took their deaf son to the zoo for the first time, they were so excited to see how he would react. But when the baby stopped outside the lion's enclosure, the king of the savanna did something so completely unexpected that left people shocked. If you enjoy this story, please subscribe and like the video for more amazing stories. Eric and Nancy had dreamt of having a baby from the moment they met. They were both in their mid-thirties and knew that they would never find a better partner to build a family with. They got married shortly after their first date and immediately started to fall pregnant, but it quickly became apparent that it wasn't going to be easy. Waiting was heartbreaking, but after a year of trying, they were finally blessed with the news that they were expecting. They were very excited that the prospect of finally having the child they had been praying for all along. Nancy followed every protocol by the book to ensure that the pregnancy was successful and healthy, but she really struggled with it. From conception all the way to birth, she found herself very sick all the time. The doctors weren't too concerned though, as they said the nausea was perfectly natural. According to them, some women just have a tough time during their pregnancies and that's all. Their narrative changed very quickly though once the little boy was born. He seemed healthy enough at first, but at just six weeks old, it started becoming clear that something was wrong with him. The little baby would cry for hours on end and it didn't matter what lullaby Nancy sang or what noise machine they used. He simply wouldn't soothe. He also didn't react to loud noises and on one specific occasion, Nancy finally realized what was wrong with her baby. He was just seven weeks old and they were renovating the house. She liked to take the baby out to get away from the noise, but that day she had to stay at home. She prepared herself to deal with a hysterical baby crying all the time due to all the construction noise, but the tantrums never happened. The little baby slept as though there was no noise to be heard. Massive alarm bells began to ring in Nancy's head. She was sure that this couldn't be normal. She and her husband took their son straight to the pediatrician to get some testing done. They were referred straight away to an audiologist as it was his hearing that they were most concerned about. Sure enough, once the test came back it was confirmed that their little boy was in fact deaf. They realized that he must have been born that way and the issue was only picked up later. Nancy and Eric began to grow extremely concerned about their son. Naturally, they were worried about how his diagnosis was going to affect his life. They would have to make some serious adaptations to their way of living in order to accommodate their son's condition. They grieved for the life they hoped their son might have and made a promise to one another to try and support him in the best way possible. They wanted him to have as normal of a childhood as possible so they continued with their raising with love and care, but with sign language instead of verbal communication. And despite this little hiccup, the baby soon bloomed into a happy, curious child. It quickly became apparent that their son was drawn to wild animals in any form. He would light up whenever they read safari stories or showed him some documentary shows. They were elated to note that they took such an interest in them. They bonded with him over his love for lions, elephants and giraffes, just to name a few. Nancy and Eric learned how to sign the names of all the animals he loved to encourage his passion. Even though he was so young, they had a growing hope that with this passion he could lead a life where he didn't feel so different. After all, animals can sometimes be more compassionate than humans. Then, when their little boy turned one, they decided to take him to the zoo for the very first time. He was just becoming mobile so they knew he would have a ball running around and looking at the animals. They could never have anticipated what was going to happen. The little family had been at the zoo for just under an hour when they finally got to the African section. This was where they knew their son would be most excited. He could see all his favorite animals in one place. So far, he had seen quite a few animals from around the world. As they walked, Nancy made a note of which ones he seemed to like more and wrote down the name as she was determined to teach him the names of the animals in sign language. From the moment their son saw his first giraffe, it immediately became apparent that he was in heaven. His little face lit up and he began trying to wiggle out of his pram. Eric simply laughed and released his son from the seatbelt. 
The little boy bolted towards the enclosure glass and just kept giggling. He would turn to his parents and sign the word giraffe over and over again. Nancy and Eric had tears of joy in their eyes. They could hardly believe how happy their little boy was. Then, he suddenly got distracted and ran towards another enclosure. From the start, they weren't quite sure what animal resided in that area. But when they saw the sign, they realized it was the lion enclosure. Their little baby simply plunked down on the ground outside the enclosure and stared at his reflection in the glass. What he couldn't see was the big alpha male lion that had taken an interest in him. Nancy noticed him first as he sauntered down from where he had been napping and walked right up to the glass where the baby was sitting. Nancy immediately started taking a video of the interaction. She was hoping that when her son turned around and saw the lion he would be overjoyed. She never could have anticipated what was actually about to happen. The lion pushed itself right up onto the glass by the baby and began to pace up and down a little. Then, out of nowhere, the big lion pounced at the glass where the baby was. At first, Nancy and Eric thought that the big animal was just playing. But then he reared up again and pounced once more in the direction of the baby, smacking himself on the thick glass that lay between them. That's when they realized that the lion was in fact trying to attack the baby. They were horrified at the sight, but luckily their son hadn't noticed just yet. Eric scooped the baby up in his arms and put a little distance between them in the glass. When his son saw the lion for the first time, however, he simply squealed with delight. He was completely unaware of what had taken place just a few minutes prior. Nancy and Eric were bewildered by the encounter, but glad that their son hadn't noticed. After all, the last thing they wanted was for him to become afraid of an animal he loved so much. They called over a zoo employee and showed him the video. The employee chuckled and explained that this particular lion was known for playing tricks on people that came too close to the glass of his enclosure. Turns out he wasn't very old himself, so he still had that very playful side to him. He was sort of like a teenager, pranking an adult. Nancy and Eric understood that the lion had indeed been playing like they had thought in the beginning and breathed the sigh of relief. They knew that he couldn't have hurt their baby through the glass, but were still glad to know that he hadn't even tried. And in a weird turn of events, they were also thankful for their son's deafness because it had prevented him from turning towards the lion and witnessing that scary scene. The little family continued on through their tour of the zoo, and their son was simply delighted. It was clear that this would be one of his favorite things to do on the weekends for a long time to come. Nancy and Eric decided to keep the video of the lion for when he grew up, thinking that maybe then he could appreciate it for what it was. They wanted him to like animals growing up, not be scared of them. And maybe one day he'd work alongside the same employee who had introduced them to a prankster lion. How would you have felt if a wild animal did this to your child? To what extent would you encourage your child to love wild animals? Thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed this story, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more.